Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself first? Because I, I you know, we, we skipped right. To, I was just trying to skip right to the, right to the the, the circus. But uh, tell us a little about, bit about yourself. You know, that's that's really my passion is is understanding and connecting with entrepreneurs, and um, trying to see. It's a little bit of understanding their perspective. Uh, understanding what makes them tick, who they are, what they're trying to drive for. Mm -hmm. um, but as as designers, especially in brand creation and packaging design, we unfortunately have to assume the oftentimes a little bit harsh role of being the the consumer. Mm -hmm. And the consumer is as much as the entrepreneur is put into the quality of their brand, their ingredients, uh, their passion that they're living and dying by. The consumer's got a fraction of a second. There are thousands of other competitors on shelf right beside them. Um, you know, I've got a baby crying in the cart. Right? I've got to get home. You know, the game's coming on. I got to make snacks. I'm not going to read all those bullet points and figure out, decipher what makes you special. So I kind of have to get it, just in, in a moment. It's a gut feel reaction. Right. Right. Um, so we should have two of each of these, I guess. Uh, um, so maybe. Uh, but let's start with let's start with Morning Thunder. Mm -hmm. um, so Morning Thunder, what 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 is it? What is this package telling you? Um, uh, have a, have a look at that, and maybe Avril yeah, we can. We do need two, so one forward yeah. and one back. Right, exactly. Uh, first off, let me let me couch all my comments in that it, it's very difficult to analyze packaging, especially in beverage, in isolation. Everything goes into how it works on shelf. We don't encounter these things just in the beautiful little lab on their own. So my eye is is often, you know, tied to what is the context? Who am I competing against? Who's mm -hmm. to the left of me? Who's to the right of me? What are they saying? What do they stand for? Um, and so in the case of case of this one, you know, Blueprint's been around for a number of years. Clearly, it's it's been a brand that's gone through a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of pivots. You right. Know, starting out as like a cleanse kind of diet program and now to just a full line of drinkable nutrition. But do you think that says that on the on the label? That's what I want to get into. No, here. I get lost in this one. To <laughs> yeah, be you're honest. lost in that um, one. You know. I, exactly, exactly. So, uh, T Ride. Let's talk about T Ride for a second. I'm just going to put it up here for a second so people can take a look at it. T Ride. I mean, look, uh, is it a riot? Uh, you know, I've heard the whole black and green combo in a brand is an interesting way to go. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, it easily starts to communicate energy, and you'll see a ton of brands because there's this one little brand out there that's based on black and green that uh, use that color scheme to communicate energy. I think it's interesting the fact that somebody's bringing a tea product, and I'm just speaking, I know nothing about this thing. Just gut feel, it's a tea, and it's promising me energy. That's what I'm speaking to on gut yep. feel. In like a short amount of time, I can get at least the high level what they are trying to accomplish. I happen to know the founders of these, and they are a riot. So I, I think, you know, and that's the thing. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a fun you, tea you know, with, with, with function. You know, there's some personality there, and I can yeah, appreciate that. Now, what about this one? Jittery John's Cold Brew Coffee. Take a look at this one. It's got sort of an apothecary sort of feel to it. I, I'm, uh, what do you think of that? You know, this is a case in confusion. Mm -hmm. um, structures, the bottle, structures is code in the industry for the bottle, right? So the bottle that, that a beverage comes in is the first level of communication to the consumer. When I see a beer bottle, you don't even have to print beer on it. It doesn't have to say Corona, and I see that it's beer. Milk comes in a carton, so on and so forth. So. There are structures that instantly communicate to us something about the brand and the product. Such as this one? 24 which, grams of protein? No, has nothing to do <laughs> no. with that one. But in that case, that's booze. Um, that is a, a flask bottle that, you know, it's got my Thunderbird in it or something. I yeah. don't know. So The other piece of this that, that is troublesome for me is Jittery John's. Do I want to be jittery after I drink I a cold agree. brew coffee? I don't know that I do. Um, so let, let, let's move on from Jittery John's. Uh, we, I, I got to try that product because I'm really intrigued by it. But uh, let's, let's look at... Um, Let's look at the uh, this protein shot here. Uh, totally generic. There's no brand there. All it's saying is 24 grams of protein, and the next product that comes along that has 24 grams of protein or 25. The brand's actually one-shot protein, and I, it's really kind of hard to find yeah. on that bottle, isn't it? I think so. Uh, what about this guy? What about Ethan's apple cider vinegar shot? I'm gonna I'll put it up on the brand cam in a sec. I just want to give uh, Rifle a chance to rifle through it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I never, never heard, heard that one before. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, oh you know, it, you know, the best thing they've got going for them is high contrast. Um, it's a decent hierarchy. Um, clearly, it's a shot based on the structure that's mm -hmm. in. So, you know, I don't know that I love it or hate it, but at least it's on point. Okay. Um, so uh, let's bring in the next one, which is 
this one. I kind of like the original design better, to be honest. Um, Hemp 2O? This one loses me a little bit. It, it just, now it's starting, the original one was higher contrast. It had a little bit of hemp meets, meets vitamin water, uh, which also comes from the bottle it's in. But this one's a little bit crowded. It's lower contrast. There's lots of stuff going on. You don't have to show me attitude or something different. You just, as a brand, you stand for it. I'm so with you on that rifle. I mean, with this, with labels and making it, part of making a label, part of making a product is to make it hierarchical. Yes. And to, you, you can choose the hierarchy. It doesn't have to be brand first product, but you should be able to pick out what the brand is, what the flavor is, mm -hmm. uh, what the product is, and what yes. it stands for. Those three, th th those are the things for me. What about you? I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, when, like I spoke, consumers have fractions of a second to figure this stuff mm -hmm. out, and if they're not familiar with you, they're not going to dive deep into a confusing hierarchy. Right. They're just going to move on. Do we have time for more? I think we have some time for more. The producer's running away. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's look at Hubble. This is really fun. Cold pressed fizzy juice, ginger. I'm gonna put this up here now. All right, let's talk about this one. You know, I think it's very matter of fact. Um, yep. It's just fun. It's straightforward. Uh, you can see the product. It's juice. Um, I don't know that the structure tells me that it's fizzy, although that the name does. Um, carbonated drinks typically don't come in a structure like that, but they are now. Mm -hmm. um, you've got seltzers and things like that. So. You know, great personality. I think I'm, that they're doing something unique and they're staking a claim that's not like everybody else. I'm wicked intrigued by this because I see it. I see the color and then uh, the way that the graphics kind of uh, play with the mm -hmm. with the the drink. I'm so with you on this. I, I'm intrigued and I want. I just I, you could get me to 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 try it at least once with, yeah. with with that packaging. The you know the example we often talk about is just like you're in the dating scene and you see somebody across the room that's interested in you. You don't know if they're an axe murderer or a PhD, <laughs> but you know that you want to. You know I'm kind of interested. I want to get to know. Um, maybe I'll keep my distance a little bit. But and that's what that does. It's. That's inviting, and I want to know more, and that's what you need to I'm do. I'm pretty sure that our friends at Hubble are not axe murderers, okay, but uh, that's good let, let, let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about uh, let's talk about Celsius. Uh, you know, Celsius at least is a brand that's been around long enough that it's got some recognition. Fun um, fact: also the official bathroom sponsor of of BevNet New York. <laughs> BevNet Live New York. I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> they sponsored uh, the bathrooms. Wow. Wow. What do you think of this package? Uh, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they are looking at what, what Buy had success with, and somebody said, hey, let's do that. Um, and the brand honestly disappears a little bit. Uh, silver and foils are tough. Mm -hmm. um, unless you use them really well, that brand, that their logo with the C could disappear really fast on shelf. Uh, due to shadowing, but I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't want to read it. There's too much stuff. Rifle Hughes' McLean design. Any last thoughts here? What do you, anything else you want to tell the audience in our last 30 seconds here? Um, I don't know if it's a recurring theme, but the best advice I can give to entrepreneurs is, you know, put all your time and effort into building a great beverage mm -hmm. and everything that it takes with the ingredients and production, but really figure out that one thing that you are that can, can speak to consumers in a different way. Don't be following everybody else. Don't do what somebody else is doing. Be unique that and special. That is fantastic and advice. I, I, I think you, you don't want to reinvent yourself within the category. You want to have some of those attributes, make sure. But, but I, that's, there's no better advice than that. Thank you yeah, so much for being on, on uh, BevNet Live. Great. Really appreciate having Thanks. you.